One common form of gait abnormality or funny type of walking is hip drop. And there is a very easy exercise that you can do for this that I want to show you right now so that you can stop dropping your hip. And it's very interesting. A lot of people think that when you have hip drop, it is the side that the hip is dropping that's weak. When in reality, if you have hip drop on your right side, it actually indicates weakness on the left hip. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Sometimes when people are walking, they'll take a step forward and as they move forward, this opposite hip will drop as they come through. Then they're back up and then they drop and then it's up and drop. And that drop is called hip drop. And I'm going to show you from the front too so you can see more drastically. But it's a step then a drop. Step, drop. And this side is dropping down and this hip protrudes out to the side. And what that indicates is that the muscles on this side are weak, specifically the gluteus medius muscles. So when I take a step here and have to put all of my weight on my right leg, my glutes are not strong enough to hold my body up. So they go out to the side and it looks as though this hip is falling. And this hip is indeed falling, but it's because the glutes over here aren't strong enough to stay upright. So one exercise you can do right now in your home is a standing hip hike. And this will help you reduce the movement of hip drop. So what you're going to do is stand up nice and tall. You're going to activate your core muscles and make sure you do have something to hold on to. This is not meant to be a balanced exercise. So if you're feeling unstable, and even if you're not, go ahead and hold on to something. Now what you're going to do is stand on your weaker leg and you want to put about 95% or even 100% of your weight on that leg. What will likely happen is when you shift that weight over, your hip is going to drop. So when that happens, the exercise is you're going to try to lift this hip up and then down and then up and down. And what you should feel as you're doing this first are these glutes on the right side lifting and they're squeezing as you come up. The second thing you should notice are the side oblique abdominal muscles that are on the upper part of your left side. So these muscles are crunching to bring that leg up and these glute muscles are squeezing to push the hip back into its regular position. From this side, it will look like this. You're holding on to something. You're putting all of your weight onto your weaker leg and the hip lightly drops and lift and down, lift and down. My leg is sore from doing that. This is a challenging exercise. So you should feel these glute muscles working. And even if you have one side that's weaker than the other, always make sure to do the same exercise on the other leg. So shift your weight over, let that hip drop up, down, up, down. Hip drop is a big issue for many reasons, but mostly because when that hip drops, that is going to make it much more challenging for you to advance that leg forward. You are going to need to bend your knee more, bend your hip more, and lift your leg more. And that movement is really hard to do when you have weakness from MS. So if you can prevent hip drop or at least reduce it, your walking should improve. I hope you found this exercise helpful. I want you to try it right now. Make sure you're being safe and you're holding on to something. But this is a great glute strengthening hip exercise to help your walking. If you found value in this and enjoyed it, please remember to press the thumbs up button, press subscribe and share with a friend. And if you have some extra time, YouTube seems to think you'd enjoy these videos. So hang around for a bit and check them out.